Fuck this! And gotcha. What's wrong with this picture? What's wrong with this exercise? Hey you, Joe Sixpack, stick... <laughs> I, should, I should keep that. <laughs> and gotcha. What's wrong with this picture? What's wrong with this exercise? Hey you, Joe Sixpack, stick him up. Don't you know that the behind the neck pull downs are contraindicated for most humans? Pulling a bar behind your head puts tremendous strain on the muscles, tendons, and ligaments in your neck and shoulders. There's only one thing that you could be doing worse right now, and that's throwing in a little bit of momentum along with your, there you go, along with your contraindication. You got it now, Joe. Um, but even at less than breakneck speed, behind the neck pull downs is still not the best way to exercise. With your hands this far behind your shoulders, the externally rotating rotator cuff muscles are severely stretched. And unless you're hypermobile or deformed like Joe, you're just asking for trouble. Nice uh, breathing there, by the way, Joe. Anyway, I also met a, yeah, <laughs> that's good too. I've also actually met a guy who broke his neck during this exercise in his home gym. The cable snapped and the bar hit his neck and cracked his cervical vertebrae. So instead of pulling a bar behind your neck, if you're going to do wide grip pull downs, pull the bar to the front of your chest instead. Always lift your weight slowly and lower your weights, in this case with the bar going up, super, super slowly. Slowly lowering weight is the secret of strength training. It's so important that I've even written a book about it, which you can check out on my website, thebestwaytoexercise.com. And those thumbs? I also suggest going ahead and using those opposable thumbs of yours to help hang onto the bar. It allows your forearms to last longer so you can work your back muscles harder. And for a little variety, don't always use the same type of bar or hand grip position during each workout. One of my favorites is the parallel grip pull down, which gives you a little more strength at the bottom and a little more stretch at the top. But whatever you do, don't do it like Joe Sixpack. This guy's an accident just waiting to happen. Why? Because Joe knows squat. You should listen to Doug instead. That's me. Subscribe and share the best way to exercise.com.